hello and welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see how to export a motion graphics template in adobe after effects and also importing the same in adobe premiere pro let's get started i have this motion graphics in my timeline and i'm going to create a motion graphics template for this composition so go to the window menu and choose essential graphics in the essential graphics panel click on the master option and select the composition for which we are going to create a motion graphics template i am selecting the main composition that's our comp one in order to edit the motion graphics in the premiere pro we need to adjust some properties for that we are going to import some properties of the layers in the composition into the essential graphics panel so that we can edit the properties in the premiere pro once we import them there so in the pre-compound, I am going to input the opacity property and I am renaming it to overall opacity. And I am also renaming the motion graphics template to counter motion graphics template. Get down below into the timeline and open up the pre-comp, open up the text layer and import the source text. Since this is kind of a numerical counter motion graphics, I am renaming the source text to number. I have also applied the fill effect so that the color can be changed afterwards. So drag and drop the color property and rename it to number color. Same way, whatever property you want, you can import them into the essential graphics panel. From the transform property, I am importing the portion and renaming it to number position. Same way, I am going to import some properties from the second layer that's our outside circle I am importing the opacity property and I am renaming it to outside circle opacity from the ellipse one open up the stroke one and drag and drop the color and rename it to outside circle color same way drag and drop the stroke width and rename it to outside circle width For the third layer, I am going to import the some of the properties the same opacity, color and stroke width and I am renaming them. I will speed up the process. For the text layer, if you want to enable the font adjustments, you can do that from clicking on here, edit properties and enabling them, custom font selection and enable font size adjustment. Once you are done, at the bottom right corner, you will see the export motion graphics template. Click on that. Before that, you have to save the project. So save the project. And proceed further you will have to choose the location for the motion graphics template to be exported choose your local drive location and click ok that's it we have exported the motion graphics template from adobe after effects now let's see how to import that in premiere pro before that if you have not subscribed to my channel i highly recommend you to click on the subscribe button that would help me a lot support me a lot let's move on to the topic Close After Effects and open Premiere Pro. Create a new project. You can also open any random project. Create a new sequence just for the sake of tutorial I am creating one. Go to the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't see one, go to the Window menu and choose Essential Graphics. In the Essential Graphics panel, at the bottom right corner you will see a plus sign. Click on that to import the motion graphics template. From the dialog box, choose the location where you have saved the motion graphics template and choose the motion graphics template which we have exported earlier. Search the motion graphics template from the options and drag and drop into the timeline. Since we have exported the motion graphics template in full HD resolution and this sequence is a 2K resolution, we are having a sequence setting mismatch. We can fix that by scaling it a bit. Go to the effect controls and increase the scale to somewhere around 130 or 133. So we have our motion graphics template. Now to edit the properties, go to the essential graphics panel and change whatever you want. You can change the text, that's our number. You can change the font, you can change you can change the font size, you can change the color, you can change the color of the 
circles and also you can change the width of the circles so whatever you want you can create motion graphics template for any composition that can be used later in premiere pro that's it hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something if you do so thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as i post new videos thanks for being here and supporting me thanks for watching this is southern signing off